Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode in my Unity Open World Tutorial Series. So here what I am going to do is limiting this look up and look down angles with a variable. So now even if I keep moving up my mouse, it doesn't go up more than that. And if I keep looking down, if I try to look down, it doesn't look down more than this. So this uh, amount that I can look up and look down is controlled with these two variables so yeah this is the part I am going to cover today right so this is what we have at the moment so when I move my mouse to left I look at left and when my move mouse move my mouse to the right side I look at the right side but uh, when I move my mouse upwards I look down and when my move mouse when I move my mouse downwards it looks upwards so how to invert this well, that's not very complex let me select the camera controller and here multiply this camera uh, mouse this one this mouse y and smoothing factor after that multiply this with the minus one like this so it should be fixed now let's see yeah now when I move my mouse down I look downwards and when I look up uh, when I move my mouse upwards I look up so yeah okay that's simple now let's see how to limit this because if I keep moving the mouse like this you can see it rotates it's uh, it keeps rotating so we need to limit that so to see what's going on to have a better idea here let's put a let's print whatever the cam rotation dot x value we have here into console let's print it into console like this debug.log cam rotation dot x so yeah let's remove these two values now um yeah because i don't need them anymore so i'll remove it and i'll disable this maximize on play because uh, i need to be able to see the console as well so now as you can see now the value is 3.2 so when I keep increasing it keep going down like minus 60 now it's minus 60 and when I look down it is like now plus 60 so if I keep going down as you can see the value is keep increasing so we need to clamp these values so how to clamp let's see do we have a clamp math dot clamp yeah we have clamp value value min and value max right so this is the way you need to clamp so first I'll get the cam rotation no. like this math to clamp The value mm. 
clamps the given value between the given minimum float and maximum float value and return the given value within okay so we need to save this okay so yeah let's do it like this we can do it in a single line or we can do it in a two line so let's do it in a single line oh no it would be a little bit complex so let's do it in two lines so cam rotation dot x equals math dot clamp mm -hmm. cam rotation dot x and maximum value I think I need to define a variable here so I'll define a variable public float max up Uh, no, let's do it like this look up max I'll set the max to 60 and public float look down mean so minimum look down value to minus 60 Look up, me. No, look up is better. So right now here, look up. Wait, which one is first? Max or min? Yeah, min is first. Look up, min, and look up max. Right now, I let a comment here so that you guys can when you guys read this later you can understand why we did this clamping max and mean look up down angles right now let's see what happens okay now if I move even if I try to move further try to move up it doesn't go up so if I try to move down further it doesn't go down so yeah maybe we should change these values a little bit let's try sort of 60 let's try 45 and minus 45 right now we can't look down more than this and we can't look up more than this right okay so I think I should stop this part at this point because I all I want to do in this part is limiting the look up and look down amounts in the camera and thanks for watching see you in the next episode goodbye